Welcome once again, cookery lovers, to the Underground Cookery School fortnightly video podcast, where today we're going to make a leek and courgette tambal, which effectively is an omelette, uh, but it stands up and presents rather more interesting. I've got a frying pan. Um, see, genius. Uh, a little bit of olive oil, and that goes straight in. Um, we need to wait a second or two till that really comes up to heat. Right, now that we've been joking away whilst you've been um, doing other things. So the, the onion goes in and the reason why, why we sort of waited a while just to edit that out is we wanted to get that pan nice and hot. And I've got um, just a pinch of chilli powder here. Um, really you don't want any more than that. Uh, I mean, you know, for one person for one or two tan bar, that's, that's more than adequate. So just give that um, a bit of a mix. And I'm now going to add the garlic. The key to adding garlic is do it after the onion, because um, obviously it's smaller and takes longer to cook. I'm now going to add uh, those leeks. Don't need... And I'm also going to add some courgette. Um, also, just because I can and it's here, I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff, because you know. Uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of that prosecco. If you've been watching other podcasts, you'll see where that is. We like to, to waste nothing there. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to cook down all of those veg in the next three or four minutes. Now you're not going to watch that, but you'll come back when they're nice and cooked down, and then we can carry on with the recipe. So actually, now that those are cooking down, I've thought of something that you can do. So don't go away. Here we go. Um, we need to prep the uh, um, tambal, which is called a thimble. You know, see, see how they do that in France? Clever, isn't it? Um, so if we just rub some butter into that, you just, again, you, you want enough butter so that you can just about see it, but you don't want it to be really greasy. So I'm going to show you what I mean. And I'm also now going to add um, some very fine grated Parmesan cheese. And um, the idea of this is we're going to put the tambal mixture in there, but we don't want it to uh, stick to the sides. So not only will that help it not stick to the side, but having Parmesan in there will enhance the flavour, give it a saltier, cheesier flavour. Right, let's have a look at these veg. Still a little bit more cooking time. So you can go off and do something, come back in a minute when we would have edited down and these will be lovely and soft. So these are now lovely and cooked, so I'm just going to zoom in so that uh, Pete the cameraman can see all of that. Cameraman, editor, director, uh, modern day renaissance man I think we can call him. Um, now what I wanted to do is just get these veg just a little bit more chopped up because um, they're going in the tambal and um, I just think that, that they would lend themselves better to being more coarse. Okay, so I'm happy with that and what I'm going to do now is, because I'm only going to do one tambal, I probably won't use all of these. So I'm just going to take maybe a third. I always have too much of everything. Um, now, we're going to poach this in a pan of boiling water. So to help make the whole thing set, I'm going to add um, an egg and a little bit of cream and some parmesan. And I'm just going to give that a good old whisk. Um, and the idea behind this is obviously the, um, all those ingredients that I've just added, or certainly the egg and the cream, um, will be what will make um, this standy uppy omelette um, set. So, um, I'm now going to tip all of that straight into here, like that. Just about got enough ingredients there, so I'm happy with that. Now, you're probably wondering if you have inquisitive minds, and I'd like to think that because you're watching this, you do. Why do I have a pan of boiling water on the go? Well, because I'm only going to do one tan bowl. What I thought I'd do is create a bain marie. Um, and we're just going to boil uh, that in the oven. Um, so in it goes. And when you come back in about 25 minutes time, um, we'll take that out of the mould. 
Welcome back. The uh, Leak and Courgette uh, Tambal has now been in here. Actually, it's only been in for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to take that out. Um, and what we need to do is just let that rest for about five or six minutes. If you take it out immediately, it will just crumble. Um, so let it rest. As I was saying before, uh, or in an earlier podcast, whenever you take stuff out of the oven, don't serve it up immediately, just let it rest. In this case, it just needs to breathe. So when you come back, this would have been stood here for five minutes. You still here? Jolly good. Well, um, that's been lying around for about five or 10 minutes. So all I'm gonna do now is just run a knife all the way around it. You can get these, uh, they're called Genesis molds and you can get them from uh, all good cook shops or from a company called nisbets.com. And as you can see, um, we can put that in the center of the plate, a little bit of olive oil on some frise. Just give that a really good old, uh, and the secret of just making it present well, normally when I say the secret of doing anything, it just is, is a, turns into a disaster when I'm doing a demo, but what we wanna do is just Position that on there like that. So I'm reasonably happy with that. Just dot it with a little bit of olive oil just to make it look a little bit pretty around the edge. A bit more down here. You can get those squeezy bottles from there as well. And then I think what I'll do just for colour is so a little bit of black pepper there. And there you have your leek and courgette tambal.